everyone welcome back I'm so glad you're here with me again today because we've got some more great surprises to open together our first one is a Peppa Pig surprise box it is in the shape of George and Pepper's house which I think is really really cute you gotta pull off their roof and inside you get a figure Oops. and we got Rebecca Rabbit no, actually, no, it's um, it's Richard Rabbit. Aw, that's super cool. He's got his little black shoes. He's got, oh my gosh, it looks like a little turtle on his shirt, I think. Is it upside down? I don't even know what that is. What is that on his shirt? I have no idea. Either way, it's super cool. I didn't even know they had this character, so that is pretty awesome. Next up, we have a Puppy Dog Pals Travel Pets. This one is from Series 3, which I believe is the most recent release, and it is the Translucent Edition. Comes in a super cute little pet carrier. You get two different pets inside and a collector's check sheet, which I'll get out in a minute. And our first one, oh, I have to open it. I thought they just slid out. Oh, I love this one. Check it out. We got a translucent hissy. Look how pretty she is. Beautiful, almost like kind of see-through, and she's got lots of little silver glitter in her. I love these translucent ones. Really, really nice. Whoa, and we got Rolly. Oh my gosh, he's got his little dog dish, and he's also translucent totally different oh my gosh I really like this one I've never seen um Rolly translucent like this so it's like a little weird because he looks a little bit more yellow than normal but I think it's really really awesome so here is the collector's checklist we got translucent Rolly which we know and translucent hissy and then there's three rare figures to try to get and I'm really hoping to someday get this super cool looking gold Rolly that would be really really awesome Next up, we have a PJ Masks little blind capsule here. Collectible figures from Series 5. You gotta collect this checklist and one figure inside. And it looks like we got, I think it's Night Ninja. Oh my gosh, this bag is huge. drum doesn't it oh that's so funny he smashed through the drum and now he is stuck in there he's super cool too he's not translucent but he does have like all that awesome glitter on him this is really cute here he is on the collector's check sheet i thought it might have like a cool name but it just says night ninja and here's all the other different ones you can get there's really a lot to collect there are also five rare collectible ones down here here's another peppa pig surprise this time it is a chocolate surprise egg Oh my goodness, oh my gosh, this happened again. Look, we got a Powerpuff Girls label. <laughs> this keeps happening to me. I really like this label, but I don't know if this is gonna be a Peppa Pig um, toy inside or if it's really going to end up being a Powerpuff Girls. I guess it's gonna be a surprise for all of us, isn't it? And I see pink, it's Peppa Pig. Crazy when that happens. So here's all the different uh, collectibles you can get, all different figures, and we got the fabulous Susie Sheep. Oh, she comes out in pieces. I'll have to put her together. There we go. Now she's looking more like herself, all in one piece. Whoa, I almost knocked it over. <laughs> our next one comes from Monster High Minis. This one is from season two. You get a figure and a collector's checklist. This one looks really cool. If I can get it out of here. Oh my gosh, this one looks so cute. It's got like little ears. How adorable. Really beautiful colors. Look at that. Super pretty blue and pink and purple. And look at the little ears. It's like it's in a costume or something, right? This one is really, really pretty. So this one here is a teddy bear ghoul. They have all those super cute little teddy bear uh, ears. The one we got is right here, and it has that little hot pink skull symbol, which means that we got a fantastic find. 
And our next surprise is a Disney adorable. You get either two or three figures inside of here. There are 78 of these to collect, and I love these. I'm still working on this collection. Okay, looks like we got a two pack. If there were three in here, there would be a blind bag hiding in the back. And the only thing back there is the collector's checklist and also a display stand. So we got a Geppetto here from Pinocchio. Oh, this is adorable with those big ear, uh, not ears, big eyes, so cute. And check out Stitch. This one is super cool. It's all like glittery. You see all that glitter on there, which means that this is a special one. So Geppetto I know is a common adorable, but check out Stitch on the collector's guide in the Lilo and Stitch um, category. He's got that little blue symbol. That means that this is actually an ultra rare. So that is really, really cool. Next up, we have a Shimmer and Shine Teeny Genie from Series 4. A pretty pink uh, Genie bottle here. I love these. They have like a pearl finish on them in this series, and I think they're absolutely beautiful. And inside is your Genie. Oh, and it looks like we got Shine. That's awesome. Super tiny, super teeny, and absolutely super beautiful. All that gorgeous blue hair. Again, lots of glitter and sparkle in this doll. Now, this, oh my gosh, there's a hundred and, what is it, 30 of these to collect. And you can find them all here in the collector's checklist that comes attached to the bottle. And this version of Shine is found in the Friends Divine category. Let's do our itty bitty lost kitty next. These are so cute. They come in the shape of like a little baby bottle and you get one itty bitty inside plus I think a sticker and um, what they call shaping compound, but it's pretty much just like Play-Doh. Really cute. You pop off the top of the bottle and that reveals another cap inside. This one is sealed to keep the Play-Doh fresh. Oh, and we got a pretty like pink color. I see the sticker kind of poking out at me. Oh, I got that out. And it looks like it says, but it's cute. <laughs> These are so funny. All right, so we got to pull out our Play-Doh in order to get out our blind bag. How fun is this, right? It's like searching for it. And this is really super, super soft, guys. It reminds me of the Play-Doh Plus. Did you ever play with that? It's like a super soft version of Play-Doh. Really fun to play with. I need a scissor. Aw, this one's super cute. It's our little lost kitty. Absolutely adorable. I love the way this one is posing. Really pretty colors in like the red and the orange. Here is our little itty bitty lost kitty. So cute. It's from the cutie, po <laughs> cutie patootie category and his name is Mick Giggles. Here we have another Shimmer and Shine surprise from Fashions. This one is a Series 1, which is the exclusive Sparkle Character Collection. There's even a mystery one to try to get. Well, that came off a little strange. Aw, beautiful. These are so, so pretty, guys. We got Shimmer this time, looking absolutely gorgeous. Look at all that beautiful pink. And again, so much, so much sparkle. I love these. They are so beautiful. Not so squishy, these kind of fashions. They don't have like the same squish as a lot of the other ones do, but they're so pretty, I don't even mind. Next one's to our Pick Me Pop. This is a single pack from the Style series, which means we get one Pick Me inside. You also get a stand for your lollipop vessel a collector's checklist and the card that tells us who we got and oh we got camo the chameleon super cute and his card says one in a chameleon and he is s'more scented <laughs> and check him out he's like a total rainbow because chameleons completely change color super cute he's even got like that super swirly little tail and he smells so good. As soon as you take these guys out of the package, you can smell them right away. And here is Camo on our checklist. He is in the common category, which means he's a common pick me pop. And last but not least, we have our LOL Surprise Under Wraps from the I Spy series. This is a Wave 1 doll, and it has 15 surprises to open. First up is our spy glass for reading our secret message and looking for clues. The 
here is our secret message. Get that spy glass back. And we have the, oh, the at symbol, that little like uh, cross with the infinity and the pyramids for at the Egyptian pyramids. And under our final layer is our combination codes, which we can use the spyglass to, um, to reveal. And then we have to enter them into these sides. We got one, two, three, and then four in the middle. So we got a lot to open. I have them memorized, so I'm gonna start right away. I can't even see what that is. I think that is the sweet symbol. It's a little rubbed off. So let's find the lemon for sweet and sour. That is not it. We have fire, oh, and ice, yeah, that's it. Crown jewel, no. Oh my gosh, rain or shine, that's it, there we go. And we have a pair of shoes. Looks like little red ones with an ankle strap and a black sole. So first up on this side, we have the lucky symbol. So we need the little devil for lucky devil. That is not it. How about, oh, lucky, oh no, I just did that. What is going on? Oh, it was the P symbol. I need the heart. I'm losing my mind. Okay, now we got lucky devil. It's not that either. Sweet and sour. I think that's it. It's pushing down. Yep, there it goes. Here is our doll's oh, drink cup in black and white. Here's the clover again for lucky devil. Sweet and sour, no. Fire and ice, no. Crown jewel, yes. Whoa, we're flying, where'd it go? Here it is. It's our doll's outfit, again in red and black. We got a nice leopard print and black cups and collar. This side's already on sweet and sour, but that's not working. So let's try, what do we got? Fire and ice, crown jewel, rain or shine is not it. Have a peace and love this time. Yep, there it is. And of course, here's our mummy wrap for at the Egyptian pyramid. We have a collector's checklist, more blind bags, and the handle to the capsule to carry it around, turn it into a little purse. Check out some of our accessories. Oh my gosh. Here's that little backpack purse that I love so much. It has those super cute little angel wings on it, little straps to strap it onto her arms. And this one's really tiny. Is it a pacifier? I think it is, let's see. Yep, a little white pacifier. Let's unwrap our doll. I love this wrap, it's so cool. This way. You guys know who it is? I know who it is. Oh my gosh, ah, she went flying. It is as if baby. Get the rest of her wrap off. She's so precious, isn't she? I just love that little like blonde hair. She's got her little barrettes pulling it back. Those super cute like little knee-high socks. Really, really adorable. And here she is in the Glam Club. And she's a popular doll for this series. And she's either gonna, oh my gosh, tinkle or maybe blow the water out of her ears. We got some water, put her in, give her a squeeze. Let her take a nice long drink. Hope she has enough. Sometimes if they're a tinkling doll, you gotta give them extra water. I'm gonna give her a squeeze. Oh, I don't wanna cover her ears because what if the water comes out of her ears? I don't see anything. I think she's a tinkling doll. Let's try. Oh, I think I just saw some bubbles. Yep, she's totally a tinkling doll. Here she is in her outfit. I'm really happy I waited to put it on so she didn't tinkle all over it. My favorite part of the outfit, that super cool backpack. She is definitely a fun doll, guys. I really, really like her too. Okay guys, that does it for today's surprise toys. We got some really, really cute stuff. I really love the itty bitty kitty today. I'm not always crazy about them, but this one is absolutely adorable. All right guys, give a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Be sure to come back. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to see lots more toys and surprises every single day here on Cam's Toy Box. I'll see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching.